Grade 8 Math number 1.2a classify real numbers. Real numbers, they're rational or irrational numbers. What are those? Well, a rational number is a number that can be written as a fraction, but it can't have zero as a denominator. And an irrational number, well, those are all the square roots of natural numbers except perfect squares. What are perfect squares? Well, that's a square of a whole number, like the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 36 is 6. You multiply 6 to itself and you get 36. You multiply 5 to itself, you get 25. You multiply 4 to itself and you get 16. These are perfect squares because they work out perfectly. So we can classify polygons by their characteristics. If it's got four sides, we know it's a quadrilateral. So a rectangle is a quadrilateral, and a quadrilateral is a polygon. We've classified it. We know that we can get the set of rational numbers, and they consist of whole numbers, integers, and fractions. The set of real numbers consists of the set of rational numbers and the set of irrational numbers. So if it were in a diagram, it would look like this. These are all real numbers. Real numbers are broken into rational numbers and irrational numbers. The irrational numbers are all the numbers, like these, that are square roots that aren't perfect squares, and pi is an irrational number. The rational numbers are all the other numbers, and they consist of integers and whole numbers. So we're going to classify some numbers, and we're going to see where they belong, okay? So let's take a look at this again. This is basically the same thing as this, except I put it in a tree diagram. So real numbers are either rational numbers or irrational numbers. For rational numbers, they could be fractions or integers. Integers are whole numbers, see? So we can classify them. The square root of 5, well, that's not a perfect square. A whole number and a whole number can't be multiplied together to get a 5. So it's irrational and it's real. 6.25 or a negative 6.25, those are rational numbers and they're real. See, they're not whole numbers. And because it's a decimal, it's not an integer. It's got to be a counting number to be an integer. So they're rational and real, whether they're positive or negative. The square root of 16 over 4 that's rational, real, an integer, and a whole number. Because once it's simplified, the square root of 16 is 4, so that's 4 over 4. Same numerator and denominator means it's a 1. So not only is it a rational number, but it's a real number, and it's an integer, and it's a whole number. It's a 1. Square root of 2 is irrational and real. See? It's irrational and real. Negative 7 is a rational number, it's a real number, and it's an integer. Remember, integers are counting numbers, and they're opposites across the number line, across 0. So negative 7 is an integer, it's a real number, and it's a rational number. 2 thirds. That would be a real number and a rational number, and it's a fraction. 9 and 1 fourth, that's a rational and real number. 27 fourths, that's rational and real and a fraction. The square root of 36, that's a rational number, a real number, an integer, and a whole number because the square root of 36 is 6, and 6 is all of these. Pi, that's irrational and real. It's irrational and part of the real numbers. What about negative two-thirds? Well, positive two-thirds and negative two-thirds, those are both rational, real numbers, and they're fractions. See? They're not whole numbers and they're not integers. They're just real numbers, rational numbers, and fractions. Okay? So hopefully this will help you, or this will help you, and now you know how to classify real numbers. We're going to see sets and subsets of real numbers next, and I hope it's helpful. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like my videos so I know I'm helping you, and don't forget I'm on Twitter, and we can actually help each other on Twitter. You can ask me questions and I can answer them. I'll see you there. Bye.